everybody! It's Claire Paris with Paris Group Realty in Portland, Oregon, and I am just here coming live from out in the field. We're doing photos at a new listing, and so I thought I'd still, I mean, look at this beautiful backdrop behind me. Um, so today I am addressing a bunch of questions and a bunch of changes with rentals. Um, so before we even had to deal with um, all the COVID stuff, there was a ton of other stuff to deal with as well. So um, a few things that the legislature passed uh, in the last year. So there's like 15 things, guys. Um, first off, Oregon and Portland have two totally different laws and we're still trying to figure out which is going to supersede the other or if both of them come into play. And so that's something that we're um, we have real no real guidance on and we're not sure what's going to happen. Um, so for right now what you should know is Oregon has capped um, rents at an increase of 7% plus the consumer price index. <clears throat> Portland has capped the rent at no more than 10% and that includes any increase in utility costs. So that's obviously something that landlords can't control. Then um, there is no cause evictions are something that have been pretty much ruled out because of COVID-19. So right now our deadline is July 6th and Oregon's going to decide whether or not you can still do any evictions. But for right now, you can't, you know, if you want to relocate, or if you want to move back into your house that you had been renting, none of those things apply. You cannot um, kick out a tenant for any reason right now during the coronavirus um, uh, pandemic. So big, pro big, um, big changes there. And then, um, I'm just moving so the photographer can't see me. Um, then, let's see, I've got actual notes to guys know. Um, as a landlord, you cannot, you have to come up with criteria before you rent your property. So it doesn't matter what your property is, you have to have posted criteria for tenants to look at. So it doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's of course legal. So it's got to be like, hey, I want a credit score of this. Um, you can't have any foreclosure history or eviction history, um, maybe no criminal record, but you've got that, you've got to have that totally posted and have that crit criteria in writing so that your tenants know when they apply, when, when any prospective person applies, you have that criteria and you can just hand it to them and say, here's my criteria. If you've given people that criteria, there can be no exceptions to that. So say some great person applies and you're like, oh, your credit score is just five points below what my criteria is. No exceptions. Um, secondly about that, once the property is um, listed for rent, it has to be listed for 24 hours before you accept an application. You cannot accept an application before the 24 hour clock is up. You can be fined, um, the, the tenant ends up not being able to apply, so it's a big pain in the butt. Um, but definitely you need to know that because it's something you're gonna wanna address. Um, additionally, if someone applied for you, one of your units, um, for an entire period of time, you cannot charge them another application fee and that makes good sense, right? Because in theory, you've got all of their information and probably none of that has changed. Um, let me just check. Um, you cannot discriminate on criminal record. Um, especially marijuana charges, no discrimination there. So say the person that applies had a criminal record for dealing marijuana, you cannot discriminate against them. Um, if they have a history of violent crime, you can put that on your criteria list. And again, that's gotta be given to every person who looks at the property or applies to look at the property. Um, second big thing for you guys to know right now is the Oregon Housing Authority has money, it's all, like $8 million, to give to renters to give to their landlords. So 
if you are currently renting a property and your tenant hasn't been able to make rent, I'm going to post in the comments below resources for you to check out because you can have your tenant apply and then the money goes directly to you, the landlord, for the rent that they haven't been able to pay. And this is for also back rent. So like if the last two months they haven't been able to pay because of COVID, then you can be reimbursed for those rents. So there's a lot of changes and of course we are here as your resource. So please reach out to me with any questions. And again, we're going to post that information in the comments below so that you have it. And of course, reach out with any questions. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and talk to you soon.